comment section yes sir you are audible so guys uh, as we all know that every sunday uh, sorry every day at 7 pm uh, we come up with a daily current affairs where i ask you questions from that day's newspaper right so uh, today at 7 pm we are here today is first day of the march month so let's start with today's session okay uh, but before moving on there is a small announcement uh, we have launched our crash course for CLAT 2022 so if you are preparing for CLAT and hardly three four months are left and uh, if you are not done with it your syllabus is not up to the mark agar aapki syllabus tayari achhi nahi hai teen char mahina bacha hua hai go for this crash course call on this number uh, if you have any query okay and uh, what are the benefits of it you will be guided by NLU alumni okay na then day wise study plan weekly performance test faculty counseling and guidance session uh, live classes etc will be there okay yes so yes uh, before moving on there is a, uh, let me tell you uh, what we do in daily current affairs is uh, that i give you questions you have to read it answer it but whenever you are answering it you have to tell me the reason why you are answering so okay so let's start with the first question of the day yes good evening everyone good evening guys good evening from both app and youtube yes so this is the first question in front of you aapke samne pehla question hai and this is regarding SEBI, that is uh, Securities and Exchange Board of India. Uh, in first page in Indian Express, I saw this news even in the Hindu also on the top right side and uh, in the left side top, uh, I have seen the news of Indian Express in Indian Express and on top right, uh, I have seen in the Hindu. Uh, this question related with a new chairman of SEBI, yes. So. <clears throat> Yes, uh, uh, very good. Muskan Bano is saying B headquarter in Mumbai. Adisha is saying headquarter in Mumbai. Ayush is Srivastava saying B. Chitra Ramakrishnan was the first woman head. Abhinav is saying no, Chitra. Uh, no, no, Abhinav. It's not that. Uh, I think you got confused. So Ayush is Srivastava, Abhinav, Asmita is saying B. Okay, uh, someone in the comment section said that Chitra Ramakrishnan was the first chairman. Is it right? And if it is not right, then tell me why it is not right. Chitra Ramakrishnan was uh, chairman of which company? Yes, Ajay Tyagi ko hatke ye bane. Yes, Rishi Khamnani, right? Haan. So SEBI is a statutory body, correct? Uh, statutory body means which is a result of an act of. I uh, means uh, it is there is something called a SEBI Act 1992 so it has statutory powers so it derives power from a parliamentary act hence it is a statutory body yes then its headquarters in Bangalore no please remember the financial capital of India is Mumbai so jitni bhi cheeze hongi na just I give you an example this is just for remembrance so whenever you remember it like this so Mumbai headquarter of RBI SEBI National Stock Exchange, Bombay Stock Exchange, these things because these all are related with finances. So you can say if you apply the logic, yes, all you will find that quarter in Mumbai. Anna? Yes, yes, correct, correct, Gargi, right? Uh, Chitra Ramakrishnan ki jo baat thi, wo she is the uh, CEO and ex CEO and MD of NSE, National Stock Exchange ki wo CEO MD thi. Jin ke baare mein aap jante ho, Chitra Ramakrishnan, thik hai? Okay, NSE ki ex CEO and MD thing so we are not talking about national stock exchange uh, we are talking about SEBI ha yes so SEBI ki jo first uh, uh, woman director bani ya woman chairman I would say is Madhabi Puri Buj and she is the first woman to head the regulatory body and as uh, the chairman uh, she has been appointed as the chairman of sbi it's a statutory body because there is something called as sebi act 1992 headquartered in mumbai not bangalore so since i was asking incorrect main ghalat pooch raha tha, so this is a wrong statement so b is the right answer to this question and yes it's a quasi judicial body yes navdeep right huh. uh, uh, madhabi puri Buj named a new sebi Chairperson, uh, this was an article which came everywhere. She was a whole time member of SEBI, yani from 2017 to 2021, she was a member of SEBI, okay? And now she is the chairperson. 
now let's move on to the next one the question number two uh, which is in front of you uh, this is related with ICJ yes she will not be investigating Chitra Ramakrishnan case yes Gargi right it came in news today yes so we are asking about ICJ se related kuch news mein hai. so please answer it Whoever is watching, please press the like button. Jo log bhi YouTube pe dekh rahe, ek bar like button press kar do. We are seeing only 19 likes. Sabko like button press kar do. SBI ka bhi headquarter Mumbai, yes, ha, Ansha. Yes, very good. So people are smart enough to catch my mistake. Uh, since I am asking which of the following is incorrect, yani galat batana hai. Isme se galat kya hai? Uh, it's not Belgium. It's in the Hague is in Netherlands. Very good. Yes, Ayush Srivastava, Muskan Bano. Anisha Das, Shweta, Violet. Boss sir, logo answer kiya yes from app Abhinav. Hai na? Asai Haran. Boss sir, logo answer kiya yes. Asmita Kumari, Shafi Alam. Ukraine has moved recently uh, International Court of Justice against Russia's invasion. Correct. Ukraine uh, ICJ ke pas jayega. Uh, Russia ke invasion ke against case kar rahe. Jo bhi samajh do. Uh, it is headquartered in The Hague. Ye baat sahi hai. But it is not in Belgium. It is in Netherlands. And what is the old name of Netherlands? Koi bata sakta hai. Netherlands ka ek aur naam hai. Purana. Yes. And this is actually Peace Palace Building. Yehi aapko milega. Peace Palace Building. Yehi hai uh, jaha par ICJ ki uh, building hai. Jo bhi ke loop hai na. Building hai, office hai, whatever you can say. This is a Peace Palace building, the headquarter of International Court of Justice. And ICJ is one of the principal organ of United Nation, correct? Ye ek principal organ hai United Nation ki, that is also correct. So since I was asking incorrect, so this is the incorrect statement. Yes, very good. Holland's ka purana naam hai. Yes, Violet Shafi Alam. Uh, and she all are right. <coughs> so uh, B is the right answer to this question. Both are not members of ICJ. Nay, Akshit, you got confused. Both are not members of ICC, International Criminal Court. ICJ to UN ka hota hai. Hai? Akshit Reddy, uh, you are right, but it's not ICJ, it is ICC, International Criminal Court, which is a different thing. Hai? Or Rome statue, ICC hota hai, dekho, isi confuse karke. Isi building mein do cheez hai. There is something called as International Criminal Court, there is something called as International Court of Justice. Go and read about both. Ukraine plan kar rahe, dono pe uh, petition dalne ki, hai? Okay. So the problem is not with ICJ, the problem is with ICC, jo ki Rome statute ka result hai. It's a result of Rome statute, ICC jo hai. That's a different thing. Hai? So ICC ka part Russia or Ukraine nahi, but ICJ is a part of UN. It's a member of, it's an organ of UN. Hai? And ICJ is in fact more famous hai, than ICC. Yeah. Yes, so debunking Russia's international law justification, you can see these articles. So here is India, uh, this is Europe, okay. and uh, here you will find Netherlands, okay. here Netherlands is a place, The Hague, okay. it is Belgium, okay. this is Belgium, okay. Yes, so the right answer is, so the incorrect is B, it's not Belgium, it's Netherlands. Uh, let's move on to the next one, uh, the question number three, uh, which is in front of you. This came in today's The Hindu. Uh, the author was discussing about these things. So, this question has come in the UDHR, the CLAT, the UDHR, 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 these things are coming in the news. So, this type of question can come in the CLAT. Mein bhi. Please see the previous year question of CLAT 2020 and 2021. Both of them. Yes, Dalveer Bhandari is an Indian uh, judge in ICJ. Right, Shafi Alo. Huh. So you have to tell me this question. Uh, this is a statement likha hua aapke saamne. You have to tell me that uh, this is from uh, which article, which clause kaha ka ye article hai kaha se uthai gaya. Some people are saying article 51, some are saying B, kuch log A bata rahe. Violet, jisne ghor se aaj ki article padhi hoogi, wahi answer kar padhai ga, achche se. Aise jaldi jaldi mein padha hooga tab toh nahi kar paoge, but Yes, uh, the right answer actually uh, Violet, Supriya, Akshit, Ayushi, Challa, Shweta, 
Rishi Muskan, Shafi Yasmita Bhavana, uh, Bhavana, you all are right. B is the right answer. It is Article 2, Clause 4 of UN Charter mentions this. Evil statement. All members shall refrain in their international relations from threat or use of force against the territorial integrity or political independence. Okay, so as I said, that use of force ko avoid kar hai na, refrain. So this has been violated by Russia. This is what the article says. Yes, that vi uh, Russia violated Article 2, Clause 4 of United Nations Charter. Okay. Okay, so you can see it here. This is from the official website of United Nations. And this is Article 2. This is Clause 4. Let me zoom it. You can uh, read about it in detail if you are interested. And I'll write one every line. Okay. Yes. Now, <clears throat> in this article, actually, debunking Russia's international law justification, uh, these Article 2, Clause 4 were mentioned. So, B is the right answer to this question. Now, uh, let's move on to the next one, the question number 4, which is in front of you. Read it carefully and then answer it. Article, uh, question number 4 is uh, talking about Article 51 of United Nations Charter. Okay. But you that the United Nations ka constitution is the UN Charter. So it's very similar to that. Yes, okay. so this is Article 51. What is the right answer to question number 4? Jojo log dekh rahe, please press the like button. Everyone, please press the like button. Yes, in fact, before asking this question, Gargi had answered it. Article 51 deals basically with self-defense of a state. Yes, right. Very good. So, and now answer. People are answering. Yes, Shivam uh, from App Muskan, Bano, Monisha, Akshit, Reddy, Anukma, Kashish, Muskan, Ayush, Srivastav, Gargi, Shika. Boss, I have answer here. Bhavana, Smita, Galactic, Violet. Yes, in fact, before asking the question, Gargi answered it. This is called as confidence. Very good. Okay. Uh, so nothing in this charter shall impair the inherent right of individual or collective self-defense if an armed attack occurs against a member of United Nation until the Security Council has taken measures necessary to maintain international peace and security. It means this is talking about the self-defense of Ukraine. Article 51. Yes. So the right answer is C is the right answer. If you see the previous year question, if you see the previous year question, especially 2020 and 2021, so they go a little bit deep. They So they, they go a little bit deep. You have to read the editorials. You cannot run away from this. Yes. Uh, you can see it here, right? Uh, Self-defense. The next one is uh, the question number five. Which is in front of you? Which of the following is correct? His message is Sahih Konsa Kobatana. Ukraine ne apply kya European Union member ke liye? Yes, Shafai. Huh. Let's see. Is baar bhot kam log se answer dare. Shamin Naz, Bhavana, Akshit Reddy. Correct, pooch rahe, correct. Ayushi Srivastava, I am asking correct. Yes, Shafi Alam, Monak Trivedi, Rishi Khemnani. Yes, very good, Monak Trivedi. Headquarter is in Shanghai. So, this option is wrong. The BRICS headquarter, BRICS ka jitna bhi headquarter ho, Shanghai mein. So, this is wrong. 
ठीक है ओके नाउ ऋषि यस राइट इजे पी ओ बांग्लादेश शुरू किया और भी मेंबर्स बनाए सो सिर्फ ब्रिक्स मेंबर ही न्यू डेवलपमेंट बैंक में नहीं होते सो दैट इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग सो न्यू डेवलपमेंट बैंक इज नथिंग बट अ ब्रिक्स बैंक ठीक है ब्रिक्स बैंक ही को ब्रिक्स डेवलपमेंट बैंक को न्यू डेवलपमेंट बैंक कहते हैं सो ओनली द राइट आंसर इज ए यस सो वाई डिड आई आज दिस क्वेश्चन देर वॉज एन आर्टिकल रिटर्न बाई सुब्रमण्यम स्वामी टूडे इन द हिंदू एंड ही मैंशन अबाउट दिस न्यू डेवलपमेंट बैंक दैट यस देर वॉज अ प्रपोजल फॉर मी मेकिंग सम आई थिंक प्रेजिडेंट और वाइस प्रेजिडेंट इन दिस बैंक सो न्यू डेवलपमेंट बैंक वॉज इन द न्यूज इन दिस एडिटोरियल सो दैट इज वाई आई हैव आज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम हेयर ठीक है इट्स हेड क्वार्टर इज इन शांघाई दिस इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग यू कैन सी इट एयर येस दीज आर द मेंबर्स ऑफ ब्रिक्स बैंक तो ब्रिक्स के ये इतने मेंबर हैं उसके अलावा भी और मेंबर्स हैं देख रहे हो बांग्लादेश इजिप्ट यू ए उगे है ना एंड हेड क्वार्टर इज इन शांघाई नॉट बिजिंग ठीक है so just remember it uh, not only brics member but others are also the members of brics bank or you can say new development bank which is headquartered in shanghai yes uh, let's move on okay before moving on there is a small announcement abhi class khatam nahi hui hai if you are preparing for clat 2023 agar aap clat 2023 ki taiyari kar rahe hain which is supposed to happen in december 2022 uh, this is a best course for you call on this number or mail us here ठीक है इस कोर्स आई द हार्डली टेन मंथ्स आर लेफ्ट नाइन टू टेन मंथ्स आर लेफ्ट सो गो फॉर दिस डो नॉट डिले देन फॉर एम एच सी टी ए लैट स्लैट बी लैट जामिया सो इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर दीज एग्जामिनेशन विच इज हार्डली आई थिंक फोर फाइव मंथ्स आर लेफ्ट सो इफ यू आर नॉट डन विथ योर प्रिपेरेशन गो फॉर दिस कोर्स कॉल ऑन दिस नंबर आई एम ऑल्सो टीचिंग देर आर अदर फैकल्टीज ऑल्सो येस लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड दैट इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स Uh, which is in front of you? Actually, एकदम इस तरह के क्लैट क्वेश्चन पूछता अगर आप देखोगे इसी तरह का uh, चार आंसर दे देगा वेरी सिमिल और उसमें से आपको खोज के सही आंसर बताना एक्चुअली सिल्वर लाइन इज अगेन एंड अगेन कमिंग इन द न्यूज आपने देखा होगा कि सिल्वर लाइन करके कई बार न्यूज uh, में आ रहा है so that is why i'm asking it what is the right answer सिल्वर लाइन के लिए कौन सा सही आंसर है कुछ लोग बी बता रहे हैं कुछ लोग ए कुछ लोग डी आज एडिटोरियल भी आए थे इस पर एनीबडी फ्रॉम एप शिवा में सेंग बी एनीबडी एल्स यस अक्षित आयुषी ऋषि अनिशा अनुपमा अनिशा माही अस्मिता योरा सिंह बी गार्गी सिंह सी यस फाइव हंड्रेड नाइन किलोमीटर फ्रॉम कासरगोर टू तिरुवनंतपुरम और मेट्रो पर यस आई यूशी श्रीवास्तव राइट हाँ सो बेसिकली सिल्वर लाइन बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जहां पर केरला की बात है तो आपको पता होना चाहिए सो इट्स नॉट इन तमिलनाडु एलिमिनेट दिस ऑप्शन इट्स वेरी इजी टू एलिमिनेट इट्स अ सेमी हाई स्पीड रेल प्रोजेक्ट है ये ठीक है यानी कि एकदम बुलेट ट्रेन भी नहीं रहेगा और नॉर्मल ट्रेन भी रहेगा उसके बीच क्या दैट इज कॉल्ड ए सेमी हाई स्पीड रेलवे प्रोजेक्ट इन केरला बींग अपोज Because of many reason, one of the main reason is displacement of people. के वजह से one of the main reason it is being opposed. So uh, there was an article in today's uh, the Hindu the Silver Line is not a vanity project. So uh, and there is a December 2021 में एक article आई थी Indian Express में uh, Kerala Silver Line why it has been planned why it is facing protest and yes it connects from Trivandrum to Kasar Gold. किसी ने लिखा भी था मनाक त्रिवेदी ने yes. सो तिरुवनंतपुरम केरला के सी एस एस से कनेक्ट करके पूरा केरला का नॉर्थ से साउथ कनेक्ट कर देगा है ना सो इट इज बीइंग प्रोटेस्टेड बिकॉज ऑफ राइट इश्यूज लाइक डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ पीपल एंड ऑल एंड अदर रीजंस ठीक है सो बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन द क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन आपके सामने वो सिवर इज वॉचिंग प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस कर दो एवरी Question number seven is in front of you. Uh, 
Yes, good evening, Tanishka. Good evening, everyone. Uh, world ka largest cargo aircraft kehlata hai. It has been destroyed in a missile attack by uh, Moscow, that is by Russia on Ukraine. What is its name? Yes. Yes, Anisha, Ayushi, Anupman, Ansh, Muskan, Gargi, Ritika, Violet, Hashish. Ritika, Shafi, Bhavana, Anupma. Yes, right. Anisha, Parna, Deepa, Gargi, Mahi, Ajay. Shivam from Mac. Yes, AN-225 is the name of it. And Tanov, AN-225 or Maria was destroyed by Russian troops during an attack on an airport near Kiev, Ukrainian authorities announced on Monday. So B is the right answer to this question. So this is, you can see it here, world's largest plane destroyed in Russia, Ukraine war. Here's what happened. Uh, you can see it here. Anna. So this also came in today's The Hindu, Antonov AN-225 destroyed in Russian attack. Yes, Antonov 225, AN-225. Uh, the next one is question number eight, uh, which is in front of you. Uh, please read it carefully and answer it. I have taken this from Indian Express editorial. Uh, bhi kafi zyada news mein tha. So read it carefully and then answer it. Uh, the, uh, the author is talking about a recent judgment of Bombay High Court. In fact, uh, in a way he criticized the judgment. So it's an, uh, written in Indian Express. You have to tell me that uh, what is the right answer to this question. Akshit Reddy saying D, Ayushi, Anisha is saying D. Ten should be. Yes, very good. Ayushi Srivastav, Anisha Das, Akshit, Supriya. Ayushi Srivastav, very good. So uh, basically, it's not 10th amendment, Adiva, it's 10th schedule. Okay. So basically, we are talking about something uh, related with defection. Defection, so a person uh, becomes an MP or MLA from one party, after winning the election, he joins other party, that is the idea of defection. So all the laws regarding anti-defection is mentioned in 10th schedule of Indian constitution. So recently, the uh, can say uh, this is an article written by PDT Acharya, a judgment that could open floodgates to defection. This was an editorial in today's Indian Express. So basically he criticized the judgment of a Bombay High Court written by PDT Acharya. Go and read it. What is his argument about this? Okay. So we'll be explaining this in detail in the paid batches wherever I am teaching in the uh, wherever in which course. Uh, you can go and read about it. If you are not in a paid batch, read this article. It's important. Ayaram Gayaram famous. Yes, Ayushi Srivastava, right. Uh, the next is question number uh, 9 which is in front of you and uh, read this question carefully and then answer it. Okay. This question is in front of you. Read it and then answer it. Uh, whenever we are talking about evacuation, right now we are evacuating almost 18,000. Some people are saying, some people are saying 20,000. So let's say there are 20,000 Indians in Ukraine. Yes. So we are evacuating 20,000 Indians. Uh, but India has a history of evacuating even a larger people. And so it's a Green's Book of World Record. 1,70,000 people evacuation. Okay. It's a much larger uh, record. Yes. Uh, it's not A actually. It's B. Huh. So Samad, Supriya. Yes. Uh, yes. It's not A. It's not C. It's Kuwait. So Rishi, uh, it's not even Iraq also. Okay, Kushto Iraq, because Abhinav, Shafi, Ajay, Anisha, uh, Anisha Das, Samarth, Mahi. This is why I have hint for you here, Akshay Kumar's photo. It was a hint there and yes, many people got it. Yes, as a Gargi. So actually, this news was coming in the Whenever we are talking about this, uh, whenever if you watch any news channel, they are talking about how uh, they can say from Kuwait 1,70,000 people uh, were evacuated in 1990. At that time, India's foreign minister was I.K. Gujral. He was the prime minister in I.K. Gujral, 1990. Okay, go and read about it. 
इराकी इन्वेजन ऑफ कुवैत तो ठीक है इराक कहां से आंसर होगा इराक ने इन्वेड किया तो किसी और कंट्री में करेंगे तो सी ऑप्शन का कोई स्कोप ही नहीं है सो सी कैन नेवर बी द ऑप्शन यस ओके सो दिस इज 1990 एयर लिफ्ट ऑफ इंडियंस फ्रॉम कुवैत ठीक है आफ्टर द इराकी इन्वेजन ऑफ कुवैत ठीक है एयर इंडिया वाज हेल्पफुल एट दैट टाइम बिकॉज़ इट वाज अ पार्ट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट इट वाज अ गवर्नमेंट ओन्ड एट दैट टाइम नाउ इट हैज बिकम प्राइवेट सो देयर इज अ मूवी एयर लिफ्ट मेड बाय अक्षय कुमार इन 2016 ठीक है and let's see where is kuwait here is india and here you will find kuwait ye chhota sa dikh rahe ho this is kuwait the capital of kuwait is kuwait city yes rahat operation rahat was for yemen yes adiba right ha so yahan pe dekh sakte hain ye wala kuwait hai this one yahan pe india hai this one is kuwait hai na yahi se wapas laya gaya tha okay now let's move on to yes देखो ये ये सब आर्टिकल आ रही थी देजा वू यूक्रेन क्राइसिस ब्रिंग्स बैक्स मेमोरीज ऑफ एयर इंडिया कुवैत इवैक्शन उसकी याद दिला रही है इस टाइप का न्यूज था है ना लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन द क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन ये भी आज आया था इनफैक्ट इंडियन एक्सप्रेस में एक बड़ी सी आर्टिकल थी ये रिपोर्ट कल रिलीज हुई है ठीक है ट्वेंटी फरवरी को विच इज द रिपोर्ट आई इंटर गवर्नमेंटल पैनल ऑन क्लाइमेट चेंज की कौन सी रिपोर्ट अभी रिसेंटली रिलीज हुई हाँ ऑपरेशन गंगा नाउ यस शिवम नाउ इट इज कॉल्ड एज ऑपरेशन गंगा वो सेवर इज वाचिंग प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस कर दो एवरीवन आईपीसीसी हैज रिसेंटली कम अप विथ इट्स व्हिच रिपोर्ट ये दो हजार इक्कीस नवंबर में यस आयुषी हाँ यू आर वेरी मच क्लोज यस मुस्कान बानो अनुष्का बाबना स्मिता यू आर राइट सुप्रिया आयुषी श्रीवास्तव देखो ये वाली रिपोर्ट सिक्स रिपोर्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट जो आई थी आई थिंक अगस्त वगैरह में आई थी लास्ट ईयर है ना अगस्त सितंबर में एंड दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट व्हिच केम येस्टरडे दैट इज ऑन ट्वेंटी फरवरी सो देर वाज अ बिग आर्टिकल ह्यूज आर्टिकल रिटर्न क्लाइमेट चेंज इंपैक्ट फार ग्रेटर फ्रीक्वेंट एंड डिस्ट्रक्टिव दैन प्रीवियसली अंडरस्टूड आईपीसी रिपोर्ट सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ इट्स सिक्स असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट ठीक है केम ये आज के अखबार में था बट इट गॉट पब्लिश येस्टरडे And where is the headquarter of IPCC? Can anyone tell me in the comment? कोई बता सकता है बंदा IPCC का headquarter कहाँ है? Anyone? Yes, climate change assessment report. आई ये sixth climate change assessment report. ये second part. Where is the headquarter of IPCC? Anyone? No, it's not Nairobi. Nairobi में UNEP का headquarter है. United Nations Environment Program का. It's not Nairobi. I... Yes, Akshit, right? It's Geneva, Switzerland. Okay. IPCC headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland, right? Yes, it was also in the Hindu. Yes, right. Anushka Jaswal, you all are right. Gargi, Abhinav, you all are right. So this is all about today's class. Please download the Baidu's exam prep app. Press the like button, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'll be meeting you tomorrow at 7 p.m. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.